today's tutorial we'll be looking on one more use case okay this particular use case uh, I encountered in one of my project okay so this particular use case talks about a user okay who want to update the database so as it was a frequent request from a couple of users right so we ask them to create it via incident and I'm just giving a use case you can mold it out the way you want okay so in order to resolve that particular incident they want to give they have to give username and password for the database then only we can up to the update activity right on the database and it's a confidential information so what we have did as a part of that we have given them the provision that as soon as they provide the password okay we can't mask it out also because then it will be it will be visible for the admins so what we did as soon as we uh, as soon as they pass on this information we will encrypt that information and store the encrypted information only in the field and then how the others will decrypt right okay how the people who want to work on that incident who will resolving that incident will come to know about the password so for that we will be creating a UI action okay or you can call it as a button which will be visible for their group only and they can simply click on that button and get the password decrypted for them pretty simple use case okay you can you can mold it out the way you want as per your project requirement so I will be giving you the demo on the same so we will go to the incident form so I will go incident dot do and what we have done if you see we have created a category called update database okay in the category and if I click on the update database we have added a validation that it will pop up two fields two fields will get pop up username and password okay and if I currently if I select this field out okay so for example I, I will give it to use able tutor again okay, it's a demo data and I will give username as username mm -hmm. and password as password and if I save it out in on behalf of Apple Twitter now my information is pretty exposed to everyone username and password right and in our case we have database also that means it gives all the information so let's work on the same so what I will do I will duplicate this tab out first of all and we will go to the incident form I will simply right click configure will write a business rule on the same so I'll go to the business rule and on business rule we'll be creating a new business rule to encrypt the data first okay let's work on encryption then we'll try it how, then we'll see how to decrypt it all. and we'll give it a name as technomonk encrypt I'll be doing it for password only now the similar way we can do it for username also encrypt password I will go to advanced view I will give before before I insert update I will give both I have to give the category as I will add the condition as category as update database because then only those fields will get popped up and I can do one more thing and what does I want to do password for now we will go with the password password is not empty because if it's empty then on which particular thing I will do the encryption right so this is done now moving on to the code so the code is pretty simple so variable script equal to I'm invoking the script include for encryption which is glide encryptor so equal to new glide encryptor and now what we'll be doing we will be invoking we will be encrypting this thing so variable in, variable in encrypted password password equal to in encryptor script include we have a method called encrypt okay so we'll be using that method so I will give encrypt dot encrypt So this is the don't get confused between two encrypts okay the first encrypt is uh, spelling mistake encrypt which is the um, 
in which I create an object for the script include and now I am calling the function called encrypt from that script include. And in encrypt we have to pass it has it uh, takes one argument which is what particular string you want to encrypt. Okay, it has a string input. So we'll be giving as a username. So I will do current dot get value of what of a password. So the field name for password is you underscore password. Done. Now as a part of this, we think in encrypted password we will get the encrypted password only. Okay. Now we'll be setting this value again on the U one on the password field. So for that what you can do current dot set value set value for what will give you underscore password and what should the not why it's giving as sorry okay and to what so we'll give encrypted password done so this is all for the script. We don't have to write current dot update because it's a on before business rule, right? And that's on before business is perfect. So let's just save it out. And now let's create a new incident. So I will do incident dot two. And we have a new incident form. So let's select a caller first. So caller will be again making a culprit to our favorite table tutor. I'll give category as update database. Username we will again give as a username. And password will give password. Okay, and short description again. This is demo demo record. Done. And if I save this out now, ideally it should encrypt the password. Okay, so you you should not be able to see the password as this like this. So if I save it out, oh, it got encrypted. Perfect. Okay, so this part is done. Now what if now we a person able to has created an incident and he is secure that his password is encrypted. Now what if uh? how that particular team who will be working on this particular incident will decrypt this password. So we have to create a provision for them also so that they can decrypt this password out. So for that, let's create a U action. So we'll create a U action. Let's create again configure. In configure, I go to U actions. And in your action, let's create a new your action. I'll give it a name as Technomon Decrypt. Now people will ask, I am doing my branding. Okay, but it's not that thing because I've created so many custom components, right? So I get confused between the out of the box component and custom component. So just to differentiate, I'm adding this as abbreviation. So decrypt and uh, we have, we want to get the form button. We will not go with all these things. Okay, actions and all these things, and we will sim write simple script. So we don't want to update that password field. We'll be simply showing it as an info message. So I can go yes dot add info message. And in that, we'll, what we'll be doing, we'll be directly calling that script include. So I will be doing decrypted password colon space plus it will be new glide encryptor and from guide encryptor we have the similar way the way we had encrypt function we have a decrypt function so we'll be using decrypt decrypt and now it asks the argument what do you need to decrypt so for that we need to provide an encrypted string so that will be current dot get 
value get value of what so get value get value of what so for that we will be providing you underscore password I think this is done one two I think one one additional okay it was the right only so we'll and one more thing I missed okay so we want to set redirect URL also so I will do action dot set redirect URL direct URL redirect URL to what so we'll give it as current and done so let's save it out and let's see if we get some button on the form no need to write define script uh, your actions and all these things so we'll go back to our institution form and we'll reload the form now and now we can see a button called how uh, techno one decrypt okay if i click on this button so ideally our expectation is like it will decrypt this particular password out. so let's click on this and now you can see the decrypt password is password isn't it amazing okay so this is how how uh, we can we can enable the encryption you don't think that from where this is coming this is coming from the util uh, extension okay so this is all for today's tutorial okay hope you like this tutorial okay please drop your use cases so that i can create uh, some videos okay or some reference videos on the same okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you